Yo, what up, everybody? All right. Uh, that already sounds cheesy. And hold on, let me restart this all over again. <laughs> Everyone, how's it going? Uh, I suck at these intros, and uh, I'm not even gonna try to make any excuses for it. I just do. But today, we are gonna be going into Armored Core with a a, a Nuzlocke set of rules per se, almost kind of similar to I think you may have seen with Pokemon. Except we're not gonna be catching anything. We are just gonna start out with the Vespers eight team members, and we're gonna try to make it through. I say one ending to start off with, and if we want to we can try to make it two or three but I, the rules are going to be pretty much someone dies they're gone for good and we have to try to get to the ending with uh out you know, losing all eight members of the vespers outside of that uh we're using a mod to be able to do the illegal entry mission i'm sorry for not uh i didn't i didn't say anything about that last video but yeah just to clear that up there is a mod that i'm using for pc that allows you to there's not like some way to unlock that in the vanilla game but yeah so we're gonna start off with mater link because you know i kind of feel like she'd be the one that they'd send off to do things that they feel like aren't really that big of a deal for them and uh it's just like all right mater link go take care of what the hell ever i don't really i don't want to deal with this but all right that's it uh that's the youtube intro god i hated that let's do the mission now I think I'm gonna have two kind of separate playlists of content for Armored Core, where I'm gonna have stuff like this and the randomizers, kind of faster format, so I can have like a lot of editing done on more of like the character runs. I like to make them all fancy and cinematic, you know? Then these can be just a little bit more straightforward and straight to the point. Good, if you're cringing, that means you're feeding the... It's like dad jokes, you know? Hey, I feel like I, I did a, a decent job making it as concise and straight to the point as I could. So, would you rather me have done it in my... In my narrator voice and been like, Hello, audience of mine. Something like that. <laughs> the bubbles. Oh, bubbles! I love the bubbles! Holy shit. I melted it. So, sometimes when I'm moving my shit, I will accidentally heat the heal button. Alright, so, I'll just be rushing through everything in the beginning. I mean, it's kind of appropriate since you're basically just bullying the RLF for a good portion of the beginning. I mean, honestly, the Vespers are pretty well pretty well stacked in terms of their loadouts, so I don't see this being like... I'll probably shoot myself in the foot by saying this, but I feel like this is going to be a pretty doable run. I mean, we have uh, Rusty's build, and the Steel Haze is very much to my liking. Like, it's kind of how I go. I like to have dual weapon, or dual handheld weapons, and then the laser slicer on my shoulder. So, he'll be kind of the support beam to this structure. If I ever do want to try to speedrun with this, that would be a problem. <laughs> because that uh, just like, imagine you're on like a great run, and all of a sudden you just start flying up for no reason. Or you dodge for no reason when you're like, intending to pile bunk or you name it, right? Uh, just to switch it up, let's go with uh, Twinburn. Why not? You know, just uh, Tetrapod versus Tetrapod fight, you know? Um, Swinburne or Materlink. I guess we'll just keep Swinburne on because we already have him. This also still works because the Vespers would love to be like, yeah, let's fuck up Balaam's efforts. Man, our snail sounds really weird. He's like got some kind of cold or something. I don't know what's happening. You needed discipline and you got it. I think we could add a rule of like maybe like you have to stagger their use or something. I don't know. I feel like it might just be broken if you have like your 
Eh, no, we can just do whatever. We'll, we'll kind of just play this one by using whoever whenever we want to. And, uh... Because like, maybe we could make a tier of missions that's, like, who's worth taking that on. Like, if it's, like, some petty shit like this, they're gonna send out Swinburne or Mater Link. But if it's, like, the worm, we're gonna be like, alright, Snail, you go, because he's the important one. Bullshit like that. That's why I was almost thinking about doing, like, a randomizer of just, like, five random ACs and seeing. Also, I never started the timer, did I? So, cool. Thank you, fun. Hold up. Damn it. Okay. Uh... Do we betray them? <laughs> I feel like we probably should. Yeah, Swinburne's about to die. Because I wasn't thinking. And I was like, in a real Nuzlocke, you can't just be like, Oh, well, I fucked up. I can't, like, restart. I should have thought about it, but I was talking. But I did bring the Tetrapod. So that and the fact that I have a shield and ear shots does make this feel a little bit more doable. And we have been getting good at first trying it a couple times now. Which, you know, it's been nice. But yeah, we'll accept, because I'm a madman. This is a Nuzlocke. I know last time when I had Cold Call, and it, was it Cold Call? I don't remember who it was, but I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna just fight him 1v1, but for Nuzlocke, yeah, we'll exploit everything we got. Not fighting him or not. Oh shit, oh shit. I only have three shots left? Okay, please. He's dead. Woo! Okay. Yeah, I mean, who got the winning kill? I had 1v1 then, basically. When I got cold call, I was confident. I was like, yeah, I got this. Oh, wow, look at that. You lived. Huh. You outlived the tetrapod. Consider that a feat. Alright. Wow. Swinburne lived. I was expecting. Be right back. 
Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that went better than I was expecting. But at the same time, we did have the earshot. I don't think we should take all mine first time. Uh, let, me, let me see, actually, who contracts you for this one. Pretty sure it's Archibus. Yeah, Archibus okay, game. so there, that's... I guess let's uh, change it back to Materlink. Uh, for a split second, it, I thought it didn't kill it. Uh, for this one, let's have... Uh, who should we use from the... Why not? We can squash Balin, and then we can squash the RLF front even further. Just like we did at the wall. We showed them our supremacy, and now they're asking for our help. <laughs> wow, that does read that too. The way he talks to you, it sounds like he's full well, fully well and alive, but at the same time, like... It seems like we take him out right there, because it's like, what else happens to him, really? Um, I will say for an investigation, they're probably like, alright, go get him, Materlink. Have fun. Go. Shoo. Probably send you over Swinburne, because Swinburne seems kind of like a doofus. While I remember in Materlink's arena thing, she's very capable and reliable, I think is what they said. Which is funny, it's like, she's so low ranked in the arena, but it's like, it speaks well of her. <laughs> Who do you think the Vespers would be like, yeah, they're worthy of going and trying to take out the uh, the entire thing on their own? Yeah, I don't think they're going, yeah, I don't think they're going full, like, Snail and, like, Rusty, but, I mean, they did, they did send Rusty to the wall. So they, they might be a little, who knows. Uh, I guess we could just send Materlink. Uh, but in terms of Pokemon, she has the type advantage anyways. Bro. That was very made link of me to get hit by that laser so many times. The fight with Balteus will be interesting though, seeing as how we will only have the three weapons to... I mean, we'll break through a shield really quick and then we'll have to keep the... 
plasma cannon charged and ready, and then we'll kick in. Doozy. I feel like I should keep their like assault armor and stuff like that, but maybe and like keep heals and stuff, but turn the damage down and maybe turn the damage mitigation off, just to make the nuzlocks a little bit more risky. Kind of make it feel more like the trailer where like all of a sudden one shot can really just fuck you up. As soon as someone dies, though, it's gonna be like. I feel like it's gonna be like. Oh great, here we go again. Uh, as soon as someone dies, it's gonna be a, a trickle effect. That all of a sudden cascades into something worse and worse, where it's just like, why is everyone dying? Oh shit. I thought I hit him with the, uh. <laughs> I was thinking just another one of the grunts would be sent out, because this is just like. It, I mean, Balaam asked him too. Let me, let me try to get him with this. Oh, what the hell are you? Whoops. <laughs> kind of let my cover go. I mean, anything I shoot is going to blow this stuff up, right? Oh wow, okay. The plasma stuff will blow it up. I figured four explosives would be enough to take that out. I, mean, I need a mod that doesn't give you health. Like, doesn't give you repairs, it just gives you ammo. <laughs> Damn, well, I know what you mean. Sometimes, especially, like, the the discussions I see can get heated sometimes. If we ever had, like, a ranked side of things, it'd be, like, a little bit more understandable. But, man, there's, like, people who get, like, really serious about it. And I'm like, chill the fuck out. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine, like, I mean, I'll, I'll put everything I got into it when I am fighting. But, like, there's people who are, like... Like, don't walk in here with that trash. Like, I don't want to fight with a lot of you. Like, uh, like, I'm just like, I mean, 
if they introduced a rank, like maybe that would just kind of solve it. So there's like two separate communities. But I mean, yeah, we could. We could just use Rusty here real quick if you're. Why not? Yeah, it's weird that we start out with like most like some of the bar already missing. He almost died from the the shot from the guy over there. Actually, that was been hilarious. I swear to God. No. I can't believe that just happened. Uh, um, how did I just do that? I want to start the entire run over because of that. I'm not going to, but like deep down, like in my heart's like, how the fuck did you just do that? And you should start over, you failure. Holy shit, I can't believe that just happened. I know, I could have just been. I don't know, that was just sloppy playing too. Like, I was like trying to like use the... Uh, the thing when I didn't need to. I got swept up in a lot of those attacks. Needlessly. Are 
you kidding me? I just helped you, dumbass. I can't believe I did Rusty such a disservice though. Or, or, or a. I not do Rusty justice. That was on me. I fucked that up. I should have played it safe after I used my last repair kit. Whoa, 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 not two. I should use them legs to jump around more. I see, O'Keefe knew what happened. He knew that it was all mine behind that, and he didn't think that all mine was gonna try to take out Rusty. So he's like, "What the fuck?" He knew Rusty was gonna try to come after all mine, or that all mine knew that Rusty was gonna come after them. And, and O'Keefe. Uh, I was like, damn, Rusty got ambushed. And, uh, because honestly, it wasn't Iguazu. It was not. It was the fucking fact that, man, like, there was a couple times where I just got caught up in, like, all three of their attacks. And just, like, this big ol'. And both times I was trying to be fucking stupid and melee, and, yeah, that was, that was on me. That was completely on me. Rip Rust Buckets. I fucked up. I done fucked up. I can't believe Rusty's already gone, though. That's... That was like who I expected to, to carry us all the way to the end, honestly. Um, so, like you said, I guess we'll take Snail to this for Snail rigged, Snail rigged, Rusty's AC with something. Yeah, that's what happened. He was like, I ain't dying first. What are you talking about? Just for that, I'm gonna kill your favorite, the one I know is gonna betray me. Yeah. Uh, Nuzlocks are essentially. So this thing doesn't even walk when it's... Wow. Even when it's not boosting, it's not walking. Is this the only AC, like, bipedal legs, that doesn't walk when it's, uh, not boosting? Because I didn't realize this thing that like, straight up just doesn't... Get out of my way, vermin. Uh... Rusty's a steel type. <laughs> They're all steel types. <laughs> I feel like everyone's using energy weapons besides... But yeah, I mean, basically everyone's using energy weapons besides uh, Swinburns, which, and so, uh, I would say, like, electric and steel. If you're not using, I don't know, unless you're using fire. He could be psychic, I, uh, and then I was thinking, I guess Rusty could be, like, dark and ghost. Dark or ghost. You stupid ass flying in the air ass, stupid ass. Is it fair for Snail to be using the needle right now if you realize?
just happened? I swear I'm not throwing for content. I swear. <laughs> the fuck just happened? Well. Uh, what the fuck? This is not how I thought this would go. Yeah, for, uh, Freud got... Yeah. If he just watched everyone else go down, he's probably like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> best send me in there. Uh, and he doesn't even have the turrets. He has the drone, so I can't be cheesy. Oh shit, he has the, the, not the one I thought he had. Oh shit, I thought that was it. <laughs> ah. Shit. I had two repairs left as well. He is still not gone here. Just had to say Freud's gonna have to bring it home. Like, part of this whole thing. Oh, shit. Oh, I hit it too. Damn it, that would have been cool. That would have been very climactic. Finish, kind of. There we go. Damn it. Yeah, I, see, that's what I said. As soon as, as soon as one, one dies, it's gonna start trickling into this death count. Oh, shit. Uh, whatever. Swinburne and Maderlink are probably sweating like that could have been us. That was stupid. Snail, I don't really give a fuck about. What god can I sacrifice? I just sacrificed Maderlink and Swinburne to bring Rusty back. <laughs> I still can't believe that shit. That was bad. That was just bad. Uh, 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 that's gonna be the biggest regret of my career. I will never financially recover, but mostly emotionally. Oh, what well, voice we doing, Fawn? What? What is happening here? I... I am Snail. I am... Argibus. How could this... thing take me down? I can be Snail from the grave. Adolink, what do you think you're doing? I'm... Archibus. Why are you here? I should be the one taking the lead in fighting the, at the helm of the PCA. Or against the PCA, whatever you call Like always, going for the heavy hitter first.
I was a little rough at first, but made like pull through. Keep the faith. Swinburne, go prove yourself and take out the imposter. Or should I have taken someone else and then spared Swinburne? Oh well. Should I, should I take someone else and spare Swinburne and fight Roku Monson? Because I think that would be more... I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be like, Swinburne, get your shit together, and then I'm gonna go fight Roku Monson. Hater has authority, I believe, in several parts, so like they always be like, like I believe it's Pater who's like, I'm enacting my authority to do blah de blah blah when you do the gel escape. Gel break. The paparazzi. Yeah, and I mean these are kinda just like I imagine the paramilitary kind of companies for each of the overarching, like, you know, Balaam, Archivist, etc. etc. Um, they produce weapons, generators, etc. So it's kind of like, well, oh shit. Yeah. Bring get your act together. How you doing over here? What? How'd that kick miss? Damn, he actually got off the. Uh, the stab. No, I'm Swinburne. I can't lose. Wait, no, please. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, we actually killed him. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill him. But does that mean I take him off my team? Or. <laughs> I didn't even give him the chance to give me the offer. That was like 1 AP, I almost did it again. <laughs> I wonder how much AP he had. That was probably the most desperate he's ever been. Like, holy shit, hold up, hold up, hold up, please. I don't want Swinburne dead. He has the ear shot. He came in clutch and beat Volta first try. I do not want, I need every, we've lost Snail and Rusty. Okay, we do not need anyone else fucking dying. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, I have. Ah, oh, I have the expansion. Oh, Mons, if you're stuck right here, I'm gonna have to exploit this shit out of my life. I was a little close there at one point, but I did have terminal armor, so technically not. I should just bring him to every fight since he has terminal armor and I can have a close call. But no. Swinburne's alive. And we are. Yeah, Snail is Snail is dead, that's fine. Like, I mean clearly. But yeah, no, we're we're gonna 
have him not even be re-educated because Snail is dead. You know, it all works out. That's, that's the glory of things. Peter, you were the one who were there doing everything. What are you talking about? Crazy man. Um, well, shit, what do we... Um... I was actually gonna use Rusty for this mission because he's like, you know, the one being like, Hey buddy, go be a fucking walk advertisement, yada yada. But, uh, you know... I think one of the runs we'll do the outliers and we'll have things like Cold Call, uh... Fucking... Basically everyone who's not of a faction. No Zack, Sula... Well, I guess I, I kinda wanna do the Candidates at one point, but some, something like that we can do at some point. King, Chartreuse, etc. I think they would probably send out someone a little bit better than... I think we should probably even just stick with Hawkins. Or, or sorry, no. We haven't used Hawkins at all. Let's use Hawkins. Yeah. He's got a decent loadout, in my opinion. Ah, oh, finally someone with... No oh, shit. I still can't fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna beat myself up about that forever. Y'all should too. <laughs> The only name out of those three that I, I can think of is Ludwig, and I'm trying to remember who that is. I'm bad with names. I don't know if y'all noticed. Oh goddamn. I swear I'm gonna kill myself. There. Thank you. Let's hear one. Oh, the field friend. But that's like the kind of energy I want to promote. Like I don't like if I ever, I, I feel like the mods would know when someone's like kind of being like. And I, I feel like the rules kind of make it pretty clear. Like as long as you're not being like an asshole and like toxic as shit, like you're good. Like cuss all that you want, like do whatever. I'm a sailor when it comes to swearing, but um, as long as you're like respectful to like one another, like you're not like being like fuck you, bitch, <laughs> to like another person, like you're good. I, like, I also don't want people to, like, ever, like, jump someone's shit, kind of thing. Like, try to give, like, someone a chance to be like, hey, hey, like, like we don't, like, we don't, like, like, try to be like that here if you want to, you know, like, respectfully. Uh, they definitely send someone a little bit more higher rank to check this out. I feel like it's not going to be, like, totally necessary, but I feel like they'd probably be like, like, Freud, like, that's some serious shit. Go down there. Or maybe, maybe not Freud. I feel like Freud's gonna take the next one. Yeah, that that's all Anubis. That's all Anubis. Yeah, I was I was thinking O'Keefe actually. We'll do Freud next fight, but uh, Anubis has put a lot of work into that Discord. I'm gonna wash my my grinder, Batman. No Joker. Don't do it, Joker. The O'Keefe. Stop being sentimental, Air. You're not even here technically. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, I like uh, everything. As uh, like I know that's like a cla like a, a cliche thing to say, but I genuinely do like most everything. I just have to find like what I like in that genre. Uh, I just do stuff without vocals for the sake of the stream, cause uh, <laughs> y'all don't want it. I mean, like 
The Flesh God Apocalypse stuff is probably the heaviest I let my stream stuff get, and I took most of that off there because I was like, it's getting a little, like, it gets a little intense sometimes, I know, and I'm like, I... <laughs> Um, and then that way also like the instrumental stuff, I just feel like anyone can appreciate like really good guitar work and things of that nature, so that I'm like, suck it up, but uh, not for the most though, I, I like to, I like everything from rap, jazz, metal, electronic, uh, very, country's probably the thing I have the hardest time enjoying, but I mean occasionally I'll find mainly, mainly Johnny Cash. Um, occasionally, like, the Hank Williams are, I will not go my way to listen to, but when they came on, I say they were more preferable than other country artists I've heard. Uh, there's a guy from Austin called Andy Hawk, and he has this album called Westernly. That's fucking awesome. Uh, it's like proggy country, and I literally have no idea how else to describe it than that. It, it's some um, interesting stuff. Oh no, when, when it gets to the, like, Rock can be hit or miss, but mo most genres I'm very I'm just very picky like as a whole for anything But that's just because I have like really Obnoxiously snob no standards towards it, and uh, I don't mean to but it just kind of Developed more and more as I got into different genres of music like there's still other bands I'll listen to for nostalgia, but if I found like a new band like them I probably would listen to them if that makes sense Earliest band that I found probably with like metal vocals like like the like the death metal kind of growls and stuff and deathcore kind of style of things was uh Whitechapel and Chelsea Grin and Whitechapel's newer stuff has evolved so much that them maybe but in general like that that kind of just chugging along and not too much in terms of like dynamic stuff I, I don't, I'm not giving it a hard time like I love it still but I don't think I would listen what the fuck just happened too many bands like that I say nowadays. I like the much more like proggy, melodic death metal, stuff like that even. Uh, I'm gonna do this real quick. Be aggressive. God damn. I wonder if you won. Yeah, I did that way too early. I forgot to listen for the... Oh, chill. Is that really near if I can get this hit break? Uh, Should have been. Did the drones actually come in clutch? Well, good job. Good job. Uh, but yeah. But it's weird because Snail is below him, but Rusty's like, Snail may be V2, but he's second to none. And I'm like, like I feel like if you put their ACs against one another, well, I don't know. I feel like Snail's AI during the New Game Plus Plus route towards the end is a lot better than his New Game Plus route if you do Carla's uh, Betrayal. It might just be because you're in a really tight space and you can't get away from his lance as easily and you don't have as much cover to, or any cover at all to fucking use now anything about it. Um, but anywho. Attack the old spaceport. Urcher boys. Uh, this is awkward. Rusty's here. Hey wait, if we're doing the lore, shouldn't Rusty still be alive? Because Rusty survives one fatal, fatal fight and comes back. I see, that's what I was thinking. Technically, Rusty does take one fatal blow and come back. I don't know, you know, if we're being lore accurate, you know, if we're taking it like the story, you know how it works. Let me bring back my boy. I'm still going through the... How many, how many stages of grief are there? I thought there was seven. I was like, it's one of the ones that started with this. Six or seven. It's Nappa. <laughs> Rusty is, but, uh, I'll keep Nappa. Get out of my head! God damn it, Nappa! Hey, Vegeta! Hey, Vegeta! Hey, buddy! You let me die out there. You knew all mine was coming for me. It's all right here, baby! 
Did you imagine him going Super Saiyan? Would his mustache just grow incredibly long? Would he have standards length of hair? See, I was thinking Steel Haze uh, Ortis would be something I would use on the RLF run. What? For Saiyan to be on his face, that'd be ridiculous. This is a really powerful ghost, I'll tell you what. Rusty, are you stuck again? Yes, yes you are. I want to kick them so bad. There we go. There. But man, doing RLF would be really hard. We'd be relying on uh, Roku Monson and uh, Flatwell for most of the run. Thumbs, alright, probably. But man. Lil Z and Index would probably not make it very far. I'd like strictly use them for fodder missions. And when I say fodder, I mean like the enemy. <laughs> not, not. <laughs> There's no reason just to send them off and die for no reason. Then you can probably beat it with some noise. What? What you never know when you're gonna pull off a strange clutch with the character. Oh, I forget about Ring. He's just such a like. You have to go out of your way to even fight him. On a mission that most people don't take because Cataphract is more fun. Though honestly, sometimes that, that guy with the shield, I mean, he's the heavy LC that we just fought here. Or the HC, I guess. I don't even think it's an LC. Oh boy! Why the fuck did I do that? I am gonna regret that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I should have. Whatever, we already have him, so too late, but I should have taken someone a little bit quicker. Boys just took my wife. That, that's what the message said. I'm not just saying that shit for no reason. <laughs> His personal ass message is just him being like, the voices, they took my wife. Just. Actually, let's take. They probably think someone's stronger than the other two, but they're like, uh, well, we'll send Pater just to be, just be safe. He was about to ask him to. They were going to get married. Now. The dead. I should just, like, have a moment where I'm using, like, the cameras and stuff to have a, a little scene for them. And then just. The character coming out of nowhere and just, like, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Down here, you pansy.
There, your light has been tripped, sir. You're welcome. Do you think I'm gonna let anyone have a happy ending after I lost Rusty? We're burning it all. We're gonna fight air. We're gonna fucking take out the whole world. All right, God damn. Okay. They would send. It was their four-year anniversary, you bastard. Let's be real. They would probably send Freud to take on two of the top arena. You know, like if they're looking at the arena and they go, "Look, both these guys are higher than Snail." Well, guy and girl higher than Snail. They'd probably send out Freud. But I am so worried. I'm gonna fucking lose Freud right here. <laughs> Burn everything. Burn it to the ground and make sure it never, ever gonna hurt my poor Rusty ever again. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's hope for the best. I'm gonna come in with them charged laser drones and I'm gonna spread them bazookas. <laughs> I feel like, you know, maybe. God damn it, I forgot he had the back. Die me now, locksmith! Oh shit! <laughs> Woo! Locksmith, barely coming through for me, man. Don't have to make me that nervous about the whole thing. But that was a 3v1, so I'm okay with that! Oh yeah, it's more like this. Why was I talking? All right, Locksmith, would you have to give me that much of a jump scare? Jesus Christ. Or jump scare, just a, just a scare in general. My heart rate. Ugh, I ate something. That was close. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> we can't use Freud now either. His shit's under repair. I'd say that's a rule, too. If someone goes, like, uses all three repairs and gets low, they're gonna need to be, like, off of service the next fight. 
Oh man, that was close. Did the raven have to? Man, that pile bunk scared the shit of me. I thought I was dead. It was like, here's a little tickle. Instead of being like the. <laughs> Who would they send out to deal with the. Um... I say we'll send out Hawkins. Just because he's not getting much attention. And uh, we can do this real quick. Yes. Yes. Excellent. I still fucking can't. I'm sorry, Rusty. I can't believe I fucking did that. I was being careless. I was being reckless. Five is pretty bad, depending on what missions you're coming up. I'd say like two, maybe three, but five? That could be like a whole chapter. Okay, you want to hear about something insane? One time when I was working at this pizza joint when I was 17, uh, I became a shift lead? Basically a supervisor without the name of a supervisor, when there's an assistant manager and a manager there. Shit, that was the most dramatic and fucking dumb job I've ever had a pain of having to deal with as a, a low-paid employee. But let me tell you about this one man. If you've ever seen King of the Hill and you've seen D Bill Dotrieve, he was essentially that in real life. I mean, like, the way he talked, his name was actually... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well. Um... I'll leave out that last detail. But anyways, this man was a friend of the manager who we had like transfer after things would not work out with several of them, right? I as a shift lead was technically, you know, below the manager of course, but I was over this guy and I had to like oversee him some days and deal with this bullshit. One day I came into the 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 walk-in and he was just shoveling down ham. Like just 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 shoveling ham, and then he like looked at me and was like, or, like he was like, he was like, it was the like the weirdest shit. I, like, and I, I had to like you know tell him that you cannot fucking be eating all the fucking ham, of course. Um, and I remember another time he was just like being very, how do I say, more than passive aggressive being kind of aggressive about taking like and skipping the queue for like the other drivers and i had to get on him about it and this grown-ass man put both his fingers in his ears and was like la 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 i can't hear you i can't hear you but like you kind of sound like bill dotry too so like you just if you can picture this old motherfucker talking to like a 17 year old like that because i was telling him not to like basically take people's stuff because he's getting their tips yada yada uh, yeah. And this was after the ham incident, and I couldn't, we couldn't get him fired because he was a friend of the manager's. The weirdest shit that I've ever dealt with as a, oh my god. That was bullshit. I don't think so. I think he, basically what happened was everywhere that the general manager went, apparently they just like went, and I, I, I believe this too, because years later I found them at a different pizza joint, and the two of them were there together. But then they just, they just hopped the different pizza joints, and he'll become a manager, and, and then he'll get him as a driver. He just thinks he can get away with fucking anything, because his best friend, or I don't know what their situation was, but I remember one time I went to a Papa John's. Uh, and to pick up a delivery for Uber Eats because I was just trying to get some cash and yada yada, right? And I was like, holy shit, here he is at a complete different pizza joint. Maybe there was uh, some truth to what they were telling me. You say fucking acoustic? <laughs> I was like, I knew what you meant, but I was like, I just acknowledge that. But no, when he was shoveling down ham, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I would pinch some, some pepperoni here and there. Bro, the amount of ham that man, as I did the, the count in the morning too, I opened that day. It was like, what the fuck, brother? That is too much. That was the most annoying coworker I probably had to deal with. So technically we have to bump everyone up too. So V3 is V2. V5 is V3. And so on and so on. What the fuck just hit? Oh, come, Kazi. Stop, please. Stop, stop. Huh, you just gave up. 
Um, I kind of want to test the water with Swinburne here first. Not gonna lie. I kind of feel like they wouldn't expect the Enforcer to be here either, and so they would send someone out like Swinburne. Anubis, you, you, you dog. N not on the public chat. God, brother. A private video just for me? Yeah, um, so I have it to where the VODs don't have music recorded to them anymore. I have my mic and Spotify and the game itself all being, um, individually recorded now instead. Is it, is the mix alright still? Also, I don't think Vlad is going to be here. I think it's going to be, I need to turn around immediately and fight homeboy. God damn. You should definitely be using a different generator, homie. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Armored fans. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Both those are good. Only cores and armored fans is good, but I think I like armored fans a little bit better. It rolls off the tongue a little bit better. Anubis's red gun pride is damaged. Okay. All right, this might be the end of the run. <laughs> if things go really bad, this could definitely be the end of the run. And you remember, I have a shield. I have a shield. I have two expansions. All right. Maybe not. What? Huh. The baton kind of whooped his ass, honestly. Like, you can interrupt his attacks with just doing the stab. Huh. That went, uh... Cold Dom. Yeah, that was... A lot better than I was expecting. Like, I thought... I was worried Swinburne was gonna die. Well then. Uh... Impressive, Swinburne. Who should we use against the Ephemera? 
Uh, I'd, I'd say probably for the third one, they probably want to send in... Well, actually, they probably wouldn't think about this. And they kind of want to bring in Pater, because he has the melee weapon and the two shields. I don't know, I still think your the turrets strat is... Like, one, hilarious to watch, and two, uh... I think it'd be more consistent than trying to, like, interrupt him a bunch with the stab. Yeah, that baton was whooping the Enforcer's ass, though. I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting to mainly cheese it with the ear shot and floating. But, uh, I mean, though that, that did happen, uh, it definitely seemed more relied, more, more reliant on the... Uh, but the stun baton. Remember how nerve-wracking this was in the first time you did this run? You're like, two minutes. Oh, shit. Oh, really? I didn't have a single bubble left after I took out the shield? No, heals would be insane. I think it's that one. Yeah, I had a feeling it was that one. Did... Uh... Did y'all see me just connect to that from across the entire room? But that was super weird. Did you see me? I, I was opening the partition from across the entire fucking thing. Uh, so for this one... Okay, who is gonna take on the red guns? Because Argibus asked you to take on this mission, right? Uh, who would they send to take out? I mean... Probably Freud, he's the only one above Michigan in the goddamn thing, but I don't think Freud. You think they would actually send out Hawkins? Okay for Hawkins. Because they send Rusty. He is before. Fuck it, Hawkins it is. He doesn't get much light. Oh, car. It'll be better than uh, when it was air at least. They're running out of ammo. I have a bunch of AoE stuff as well, so it'll be nice against actually most of these motherfuckers. Yeah, it would be just like very against some semi. I am using the Vespers. I'm glad you get me. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't get it in time. Get it, get it, get it. Fuck. Oh, I got it in time. Well, one landed. Oh well. Damn it, I always forget who has what weapon. Or what melee weapon. Went right over him. Where is 
right magically knows whose bubble it is. God damn it. I knew I jumped in front of that wall at a very bad time. At the very bad, a very bad time. Shit! I did not notice. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate you that, y'all. We're actually getting close to, uh, I think 2,000 on YouTube as well. Good, good grouping. There we go. Wow, I keep doing that. That is bad. Very bad. You could just hide in here. Anubis. Me accidentally flying in the spots and finding you cheese. Maybe it'll be as good as brute, maybe it's gonna be garbage, who knows? Until you try. Uh, who do we have going down to the depths? Should it be Materlink since technically she would be? Like she'd be heading through with uh Wait, does this mean we get Woo, woo, who, who, hi now on our team after this mission. Who should we? Man, O'Keefe is gonna get his ass handed to him in this fight, I'm telling you right now, but okay. I'm gonna try something. I'm just curious. <laughs> Imagine it's just chilling there when he starts. No, okay. It's like everything. Oh, and I still have to wait for it to recharge. Great, that was a waste. At least use it in there and he's not gonna use it very well. No, 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 I felt that coming. Holy shit. That's exactly what I was worried about. That was a bullshit tag team and combo. There we go, god damn. Okay, Rusty. God, I tried to get out of that last hit and he always hits me with that. Ah, 
Keith, I knew that wouldn't be a good run for him. Uh, well, God damn, that was close. My. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> that was so close. Oh no! There goes another one. Ah, uh, who to use now? Who to use? Pater? I guess. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do Pater because it feels right, bro. That was. But honestly, that's why I love fights with Rusty. Not in a tetrapod that's slow as shit anymore. If that's the main. Oh shit! Like, what is happening? He was still okay. Uh, because I like to take the suggestions of the chat, but it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> Rusty's tough sometimes, especially if you don't have uh, much to stagger with. If you're just kind of like having to do slow build up with the bubbles. Whew. You see, Rusty did live. He was tricking us. He was gonna betray us inevitably. Yeah, P's chat before success. <laughs> Alright, so next fight. <sighs> next fight. Cell 240. Who are we going to use? I think it's clearly gonna be Freud, right? This could end really. <sighs> okay, 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 now we'll. This is tough. This is very tough. But. <sighs> A lot of boring math later. <sighs> we'll take Freud. He has a spread bazooka, he has a melee weapon, he has laser drones. Like, it's probably the best option we have as an all-rounder to be able to take on the the Ibis, the self 240. He's dead. Oh, okay. How did that one not hit? I 
think Freud will be okay. As long as I don't play first phase like shit, we'll be good. When you do, open with the spread bazooka after it does its two attacks in the very beginning, uh, soul boost at it while I'm firing my rifle, charge up the drones, and then if it's if all is said and done correctly, it'll have its ACS overload done from the rifle. The drones will hit it as I do the melee attack, and we will be able to take out a good fucking chunk of its health. But unlike what Rusty says in the dialogue of the one fight, I am not at my best under pressure, so I might choke and I might die. So we'll see. We'll see what happens later in Opportunity Run. No matter what, we're gonna give it our all. Literally a little anxious. That went sorta of how I wanted it to. Oh shit. No! Dodge you for that attack, but it worked out, so it's cool. No, that's not good. Why? That should be. Glad I noticed I had this. Okay, I need to not do it like that. <sighs> okay, decent amount of my AP left, one repair left, one shield left. I can do this if I don't fucking choke. All right, keep the drones charged. Go for it now. the pulse plate again. Brain. Fuck man. Work. Oh no. Oh no. That was bad. Walter, shut the fuck up! <laughs> That was stupid. I thought I died. Not gonna lie, I thought I died there first. Fails ghost comes back from the grave just to be like, eat shit, Freud. <laughs> Alright, now we have to go through this as Freud one more time. What time is it? Probably call it night after that. Yeah. I mean, we could try to beat tonight, but I gotta work tomorrow. Oh, and in case anyone missed it, I finished the... During my videos, he's been slowly being built. Because <laughs> I just don't have a, enough time. But he is finally done. 
try to have him do like a one winged angel kind of pose. Two days later. Time to get on with it. Uh, so who do we take to fight? <laughs> do, we, do we take Freud to fight Freud? I think I shouldn't actually risk Freud. I think I should take like Hawkins. Buffalo tenders with mac and cheese. God damn. See, I still think it's funny that we can at least assess that Snail isn't like favorable. Everyone gets fucked. He's like, no one is exempt. Oh shit. Of being like, fuck off. I don't give a shit about you. Two in a row. Okay. I, I think that fixed it. You must be Raven. Never sparred with you must be me. <laughs> A true clone fight here. God damn it. They improved the tracking, but it's still not amazing. There we go. I just wanted that final. It's such. That was literally like. I beat the game with this, uh, this melee weapon the first time. Because I just was like, it's so cool. I need just to spin. Okay. Who do we take to fight Rusty? Probably Freud, right? But do we know Rusty's going to be there? If we're going into this like we're thinking about it as a just a Vesper sending off someone to do a mission, they would probably send like Pater would not be so good on the ammo by the time we finished all the ships. Gotta think about that as well. Hawkins does have plasma laser. He's also V5, so he was only one rank below Rusty at the time. Yeah, I'm thinking Hawkins. I think he'll have enough ammo to take out all those ships and still have enough left over to fight Rusty, and I can kick some too and just get the, get the kill that way. As long as they don't nerf my ducats, that's the only thing. I'm, I'm just so scared one day my ducats are not going to be as effective as they once were and I'm going to be a sad boy. There, I took away my nebula being as powerful as it was. They don't need to be taking away my ducats. I can float forever. I know you, Rusty. I know you fight. Fight how I fight. Got him. Just 
God damn it. I don't know, with the CN anomaly, I think most people can fly. Damn okay, high. Shit, 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 shit. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to heal. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> that was terrifying. Okay. See, Rusty didn't die. It was all part of his plan. It was all part of my plan to make an excuse for Rusty to come back and fight us in the end. Yep. I definitely didn't play like absolute shit and fuck that up. And, uh, yeah. N yep. Ooh. Oh my. Uh, shit. Who are we gonna throw at air first? Made her link first try? Oh my god, that'd be. I mean, actually. She does have a way to take down- This might be better than we thought, because a good chunk of them- I'm just gonna- I'm not gonna go over everyone's names. A good chunk of them actually have pulse guns. Also, I never started the timer up because I'm dumb. I mean, we can try Mater Link first, why not? Watch this turn to be easier than I anticipated. The person I feel like is gonna actually be really good at it, I feel like Pater would be great, because Shield actually could come in clutch if I actually remember to use it. He has the highest- or the fastest quick boost, quick boost reload time out of everybody. Um, he's got bipedal legs, so if I stay on the ground, I mean, he's got reverse weight legs as opposed to everyone's bipedal legs, which so stay on the ground, bounce around. He has a melee weapon, and so I can I can use shoulder and hand bubbles and the melee weapon. But let's be real, and let's let's go with. Oh, here we have her loaded in my bed. <laughs> bubbles, <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> All right, here we go. Am I recording? I'm not recording, my dumbass. There we are. Oh, I thought I dodged that. That was not good. Sorry, Meter Link. 
I'm doubtful. Uh, I meant to do something much different than that, and I apologize. Maybe like I'm fucking up hard right here. Come in clutch. Holy fuck, that shield comes in clutch. Oh, I did it way too early right then. Ah, <sighs> there goes Major Link. <laughs> I, I think it's Freud at this point. Please, Freud, come in! The spicy lady's attacking! Attacking, attacking. My fucking five. Despite the day you checking. Uh, I don't want to know that I remember the whole wish of the sacrifice to the spicy made mixed. This is a tough one. I think we shouldn't use Pater just yet. I think that would be. I think I should. Swinburn. Uh, we should just go up the ranks. The Swinburn, I can at least stay above the, the attacks. Where's the anomaly here, huh? <laughs> That'd be nice. Swinburne. <laughs> Chill. Fire. No! Fuck. Fuck. Oh, good. Get it, Swinburne! Come on! Come on, you got this! Oh, it's one bird. Come on, boy. You got that. You got that. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, get, 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 don't do that. Don't run away. And spike. Ah, oh, damn. I was like, maybe I get this. Holy shit. Just die right here. What? Woo! Woo! Swinburne fucking came through. Holy shit. I did not think that would go that well. The baton. Did you see that stagger? Like, like what was that? I'll take it, but like... <sighs> oh, wow. <laughs> that was, uh... Hmm. I was, I was, I was thinking about saying something about the re-education. But I didn't want to like... 
I already was like, you got. I was telling him that you got this, and I was like, that's enough. If I do anything close to what happened with the chatty run, he'll die here. And then I still got really close because I was like trying to get a uh, climactic finish because I had a decent amount of health, and I was like, I need to stop fucking around. And then, uh... oh man, I thought I was gonna die to be honest. Woo! That's second attempt, technically. Wow. Whee! Man, that was better than I anticipated. I kind of like the Nuzlocke runs.